Hey everybody, and welcome back to Super Comic Fun Time. So what have I got for you today? Well, as my hastily scrawled cartoon says, SCFT opens Bosch Fostwin's Table for One. Now this is a book that um, I pre-ordered a while ago, but there was a problem with the printing, so Bosch had to send it back, and there was a little bit of a delay, but it's here now. This is a little bit thicker than the Infidel books. Um, it feels very substantial. I can't wait to read it. Um, Bosch Fostwin, I think he is what you would call a true artist. Like he's got that singular vision thing and his work is very unique. And I would bet that he's a genius, not necessarily the kind who takes the Mensa test and joins Mensa, but the uh, kind that has that singular vision thing that uh, real geniuses have. Um, so we are going to press firmly to seal. I'm pretty sure that this is where you open it. And let's see what we've got. Ooh, it looks beautiful just from the, uh, the Mylar plastic around it. Look at that. Ooh, that's very nice. Very nice. So let's see. It looks like, I don't really know too much about it. I, I think it uh, was either nominated for an Eisner or it won an Eisner. I'm not sure which, but it looks very film noir-ish and I'm a fan of film noir. Kudos, Alex Toth. And, uh, and I don't have anything there for you to see. So let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. This is, this looks like a very nice graphic novel. Ooh, I like um, I like the lettering here. Let me just move the uh, just look at that end. It's very cool, very cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. I just like the the first page. So you can see it was first copyright. Written in uh, 2004, 2005, and then 2018. Very cool. To the individualist. Like people who follow. Um, oh, that's interesting. Fall 2001. Yeah, so I have no idea what this book is about. I don't know if it's uh, as political as Infidel, but I'm guessing maybe that's my clue right there. The The... L's look like the Twin Towers, but I, I really don't know. So yeah, I don't want to go too much into it. Oh, this looks so good. I probably will read this tomorrow. I'll probably shift my reading schedule. But I'm going to get the video up tonight because too many times I've opened a book and then thought I would do a review afterwards. So what I'm planning on doing is a daily vlog because I read a lot of stuff that I never mention. I've read all of the Shazam stuff and I, I've read two of the Mr. Miracle uh, issues from 1978 and I've, I have stuff to say about them but they just it just stays in my head because I don't do the daily vlog. So, oh, I, I, you know, just look at that artwork. I really like uh, Bosch's style, and he's got his uh, self-portrait, yeah, I mean, you know, he uh, of himself. So I'm not reading anything yet, so I don't know what the story is, but that is very cool. Let's take a look at the back. Another quote from Alex Toth, you are a mighty talented pro. Write, draw, stage, tell stories with brilliant, savvy, to all elements in the mix. I'm very impressed, kudos. I walk into a crowded room, not a soul in sight. I like that, that's very poetic. Um, see, a single night in a single setting that conveys an entire way of life. So yeah, maybe it isn't political, maybe I'm totally wrong on that, but I will find out when I read it. That's the fun of reading things. So yeah, award nominee. So, oh yeah, you know, so yeah, here's the, uh, the signature. I paid a little extra to get it signed, so it seems like a good place for it, because, uh, you know, I guess he could write in the silhouette, but... Oh, this looks very nice, Bosch, very nice. I'm really glad you had this reprinted. 
It looks like I'm going to enjoy the heck out of this one, so I will read it uh, over the next couple of days. I mean, I'm not sure if it's a one sitting book. Maybe it is. Sometimes these books just like suck you in and you just read it all and like the time just stands still. And uh, But I will have this video up uh, later tonight. I might do a vlog tonight. I don't know. I'm working on a video I've been working on for two or three weeks. I wanted to put a uh, kind of a fake explosion in there and uh, I got kind of trapped trying to figure out editing and that's why I you know I is it it's like if I try to do something new then it languishes if I don't do something new then we both get bored but we will figure it out we're on this journey together and I really can't look at that I just ugh. you can almost feel like a kind of power coming coming off of it so this is uh, Douglas for Super Comic Fun Time, and I will get back to you later.